So now in this video we're going to look at the uh, mechanical push button uh, switch right here. We're going to invert how it works. So this uh, switch has been popping out a bit. It probably will during this video. So I'm going to press it down there again. But you can see that the LED is off until I turn the switch on. They are uh, in series right there. 220 ohm resistor, long lead, anode, short lead, cathode. Remember put the LED in the right way or else it won't light up. So it's separated top to bottom. Uh, we got the two on top are always connected, two on bottom are always connected. When you press the switch, all four of them connect because it's normally open. It's normally off. There's different uh, switches that may be on until you press the button, but this is not uh, one of those. So there you can see it goes to ground to complete the path. We will quickly look at how much current that uh, provides right now. No current because the switch is off. And now the switch is on. We got about 12 milliamps of current. Now we're going to take the uh, blue LED and we're going to come down to where this 1000 ohm resistor and the jumper to ground is. So it says one milliamp of current but it's actually uh, really close to two milliamps. This isn't a completely accurate uh, measurement because it's meant to measure more in the amp range and also it's uh, probably just barely two uh, milliamps. So we're going up to where the long lead, the anode and the resistor connect right there. And uh, so you'll see down there, that's not connected to anything, but it is over there. So this whole uh, row right there is connected on uh, both sides if the switch is seated properly. So you can see that we got uh, the LED is still on and the switch jumped out of the board. We got about uh, one milliamp of current. So I'm going to uh, press it into the board uh, better. It's uh, really struggling. So. If you got uh, these switches and a new board, which again, this is not a new board. I should not be having this problems, but uh, expect that. That's why I'm keeping that in the video, even though it's really annoying and the video would be a better video if it wasn't. But in any case, there you can see we uh, pressed the uh, button and now the LED turned off. But the main thing is there's more current. So if you really want to invert a circuit, you most likely would not use a mechanical switch in this way. There we go, we released the switch. Now the switch is off, but the LED is on. Whereas up here, to have the LED on, we had to turn the switch on, and the switch is trying to jump out. So, in any case, we'll zoom in, get a little bit uh, closer look. So, in the middle of the switch, that's not connected to anything. You can see the cathode goes to ground. The anode up there, which is connected to the top of the switch, goes to the 1000 ohm uh, resistor right there. So when I close the switch, it just takes the uh, current that's going through the resistor and shorts it to ground. It'd be a lot harder to go through the LED, so none of it goes through the LED. It just goes to ground. That's why you saw current go up, because the LED doesn't really limit current, but it drops voltage, which results in less current in most circuits. And uh, so, while the current is going through the LED, we have a uh, lower current, and when we short it right to ground, now only the resistor is limiting the current. It has more voltage across it, more current going through it right there. So hope that all makes sense. Just a, a simple video today. Hope you still enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.